and turning now to a look at technology, specifically the Internet and the new role that it's now playing in our children's lives. Scripps reporter Stephanie Stone has more on what families can do to make sure their child is not only knowledgeable, but also safe. Kids screen time skyrocketed during the pandemic and while not all of that usage is bad, it has tech companies and researchers trying to figure out how to make the Internet safer for children. This is Microsoft Edge Kids Mode. It's fun, it's flashy, and if that doesn't attract a kid, there's even Disney characters. Kids Mode is tailored for kids. It's got, it's colorful and bright, it's customizable for children. Divya Kumar is Director of Product Marketing for Microsoft. It took developers about a year to put this browser together, which offers two different age ranges for kids. It's designed to take the burden off parents and to make the enormous internet a little safer for the littles, with built-in kid-friendly sites, tracking prevention, and a way to block adult content from coming in. In one of the research that we did, we found that about 50% of parents in the U.S. are what impacted by what we call the hand-up scenario. It's that moment when you hand your device over, a shared device over to your child so they can hop on the web and browse for while you're in the middle of something. Kumar says they also found that 58% of parents in the U.S., especially those who have kids 12 and under, are concerned about exposure, but less than half use parental controls. Enter Dr. Jenny Rudusky, who says we've got it all wrong. Instead of taking all these adult products and retrofitting them for kids, which, which is never going to be perfect, we should be designing kids digital products from the ground up, like with what kids need. Dr. Rudusky is both a professor and a developmental pediatrician, and she's one of the leading experts on tech, families, and kids. We need more technology, not to take up more of kids' time, but in the time they're going to be on their learning device or on a laptop, that it is time that they're spending in a really child-centered environment. Kids, she says, are curious by nature, and just like they'll grab or go after anything, they'll click on anything too. Good kids' products aren't going to try to extend the time that our kids are on devices. They recognize that kids learn best by, you know, taking new information in and then talking about it with a parent. Which Kumar says is what they hope families will do. Take the opportunity to discuss screen time and safe ways to explore that great World Wide Web. I'm Stephanie Stone, reporting.